All right, hi again. This is uh, Snowbird on the Ashbank, one of my favorite tunes. I really like this tune a lot. It's not played in sessions too much because it's a little confusing and kind of different. It's in G Mixolydian, which not too many people play key tunes in that key. <laughs> it's got a G chord and an F chord. Um, it's a little crooked. It's got five beats at the end of each A part and each B part uh, in the measure. And it's a little syncopated here and there. So. It's, a, it's just a little bit, um, kind of one of those tunes that doesn't have actually calls and answers per se, but it has sections of the tune. Here's the tune. Okay, I'll just do it once through because it takes a little bit of an explanation. Um, the first section it's a pretty simple section right there. Okay. The second section goes along with that. Okay, a couple things there. <clears throat> I use my pinky. It's a little bit easier when you're playing at tempo than to shift over to the open E string where you either have to slur across the strings or change your bow direction. That's a little cumbersome. So if you can use your pinky just on that, because it just kind of goes like that. So um, if you're not particularly in tune, it's, you know, the note goes by quickly enough where you can catch it the next time. <laughs> um, so, and then there is... that F natural and A string, open string, double stop, which is kind of nice to listen to. So, I actually, what I'll do is I'll put these two sections together. Okay, so far. Then the next section is just a scale up to the C note, which is the low two on the A string, of course. Um, it skips on the D, starts on the open D string. It skips the first finger on the D string, but you have to play it on the A string. Okay, that's pretty simple little lick in itself. So let's go that far. next line or the next section is just going back down to that G so that's a little that's kind of two tiny little sections stuck together there actually and then okay so let's do all of that so far Okay, so as you can see, this is just a melody that keeps on going. There's no calls and answers to this. The B part there is a little bit, but we'll get to that in a minute. Um, the, the next section, or the last section, is basically just your, it's, a, it's a, like a G ending lick, starting on the C note. C 
C, up the scale to G, and then you go back down the scale, but you skip your first finger, the F sharp, you skip that and you go right straight to the E. Okay. Um, so you need your high two on the D string with the, that F sharp. There is another way you can do that as well, going leaving the second finger uh, out of, altogether of the A string and the D string, and it would sound like this. You can use that lick too. Um, you know, there's no set rule that you can't do that, but uh, here's the whole A part. Okay, so you can see there's really not a call or an answer, it's just kind of notes going, <laughs> playing the melody. The B part, however, the first part of the B part, does have a call and answer. So that's the call, and that's a little syncopated too. If you can get that in there, it sounds better in the tune than just playing it kind of straight. Um, and then the, the answer to that is... So that's the call and the answer. The first call. That's the F natural. And then the, then the rest of it is a little different from that even. Okay, so let's just get that part. Here's the whole A part up to there. Uh, B part, excuse me, sorry. F natural, and then you have another ending lick. And it's really nice to slide up to that. Okay, that's the whole thing. It's when it's played up to tempo, it's a little bit quick and notice and stuff, but if you break it down like this, it's actually not all that hard. So we'll do the whole thing.
Snowbird on the Ashbank. Um, hope you have fun with that one and see you next time.